Hey YouTube, it's Navy98 here, back with another helmet restoration project. So this one's a bit of an oddball one today. Um, it's an old World War II Navy Mark II Talker helmet. And since my channel is named USNA98 and I go by Navy98, I figure it's finally a good, a good time to actually do a Navy video on this channel. So for those of you who don't know, USNA98 stands for United States Naval Academy Class of 98. Um, and I'm a graduate of the class of 98 of the Naval Academy. So anyways, I do have a little bit of a collection of Navy militaria. And recently I acquired this Navy Mark II Talker helmet, dirt cheap off of eBay. And I'll post some pictures of what it looked like when I, event or when I initially got it. And as you can see, it was pretty rusted out. Uh, not super bad. It still has some of the remaining um, Navy blue paint on it and the liner is actually in pretty decent shape, um, but it does have a lot of surface rust on it. But most of these helmets, if you look online on eBay, go for $250 or more, which is, in my opinion, pretty ridiculous. So I got this helmet for less than 50 bucks on eBay, mainly due to the condition. As if you, and if you see my other videos, you know that, you know, I, I don't really like paying a ton of money for helmets and where possible, I'll get them cheaper by buying a rusted out helmet and then doing a restoration on it. So that was my goal with this helmet. Um, the only thing it was missing um, was the chin strap assembly, which it's easy to buy those new old stock uh, chin strap assemblies for these helmets online for like 20 bucks. So all told um, with the chin strap and the helmet, this is about a $65, $68 project. So not too bad. So um, I'm not gonna go into the details of what this helmet actually was used for yet. I plan on doing a series of videos in the future. Um, I have some other Navy helmets that I wanna do a series on, and so I'll combine those into a two or three part series uh, on this helmet and the others. But for now, um, I was doing some Googling uh, online and on YouTube to figure out what else is out there on the internet talking about these helmets. And lo and behold, there's a YouTube channel that just started up recently um, who posted a whole video on the background of this Navy Mark II helmet. And it was published in July of this year. I believe he said it was his first video on YouTube. Um, it's about a 15 minute video. Great overview of this helmet. So for now, um, please go check out his channel, his uh, channel name is AY Militaria, and I'll put a link to it below. Go ahead and check that out if you want to find more about this helmet. And like I said, in the future, I'll go ahead and do my own video uh, on this helmet after it gets restored. So you saw the pictures that I posted of what I got, what it looked like when I got it from eBay. Um, if you've seen any other of my helmet restoration projects, you kind of know my routine. Uh, typically, I'll go through and dunk them in a vat of a vapor rust. Uh, get all that surface rust and rust off and that does a really good job of exposing the the metal and any remaining paint underneath now because this one has the liner inside which i'll show you in a minute i couldn't just dunk it in evapor rust because it would run the risk of destroying the liner so because the rust was so superficial i took a super fine uh, wire brush so so it's not your standard wire brush uh, I'll put a picture of it here uh, it's a brush that I use for carding gunmetal when I'm doing bluing of gunmetal or uh, a rust bluing of gunmetal uh, it's super fine you can actually put your hand on it as the wheel spinning and it will not hurt you so it's not anything like a normal wire brush all it does is take the surface rust off and it doesn't damage the finish or the paint beneath it so what I did was I went ahead and ran that brush uh, all over the existing um, metal and rust on this helmet. And then followed that up with a layer of rust converter product. And again, I'll put a, a picture here, what I use. So what the rust converter does is converts that rust into a stable, um, a black protective coating uh, on the metal and prevent future rust from forming. It also acts as a primer, so you don't need to apply another primer coat over this. 
So I went ahead and put the rust converter on this. That's why it's now a lot darker than you saw in those pictures of when I initially got the helmet. Um, so now the next step is essentially just to paint it um, the color that it should be. Uh, these came in two different colors, uh, standard olive drab uh, early in World War II, and then later on they were painted a navy blue, and by navy blue I don't mean a, a dark navy blue, uh, but it's basically a kind of a sea blue shade, almost like uh, what you get on a French Adrian helmet. So you can see here I've done a little bit of paint matching. This was These were just some paints that I had uh, trying to match the original paint that was left um, on the helmet before I did the rust conversion. So you can still see possibly in here there's some blue. Uh, that's a little bit darker now than it was when it, before I applied the rust converter. So I went ahead and matched this paint. So essentially what I came up with was this color right here is what the final helmet's going to be. And I also like to weather my helmets after I paint them, so I'll weather them a bit to make it look like they've been used. Um, there wasn't really a standard blue color paint uh, that they used uh, when these helmets were in existence from World War II into the 80s and actually some into the 90s, depending on what kind of ship you were on. Um, you can see them uh, all different shades of blue, blue gray, whatnot. So I'm not too concerned about matching it exactly. It'll be close. So that's what it looks like with the rust converter on it. Uh, I've just got it propped up on a an old light right now. Let me knock that off. So this is the inside. I will clean that up a little bit with just some soapy water, but. It's actually in good shape. It's not falling apart or anything, but I did do the rust converter inside as well. So when I go ahead and paint this, I'll mask this entire liner off um, and get, it, get that all painted. Like I said, it didn't come with the chin strap, but I did buy, again, a new old stock chin strap online. I'll get the corrosion cleaned up uh, on the, the metal work here and get that all put together and then come back and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, flash forward a couple days later. Uh, like I said, I went ahead and matched that paint color and went ahead and painted the entire helmet inside and out with the navy blue paint. Uh, also, as you can tell, I went ahead and weathered it just to make it look like it's been used and not brand new. And as you, if you've seen in my other helmet restoration videos, it's, like, it's what I like to do with the helmets. Just so it doesn't look like they're come straight off the factory floor. So overall, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I went ahead and replaced, or actually me added the, the strap to the helmet, like I said. Purchased that off of eBay for 20 bucks, new old stock. So it fits pretty well. Go ahead and show the inside. So here's the inside of the helmet. I uh, went ahead and got a screenshot of, the, of the, uh, the Navy stamps that are inside the Mark IIs off some historical pictures online. It's got the Mark II stamp in the front. And then in the back, it's got your USN stamp. So I had met a stencil uh, off those markings from the internet, replicated them here. Decided not to clean the liner after all, uh, as I said, just to give it that worn look. So I think it looks fine as is, but there you go. It's the inside. And what I'll do is I actually have a pair of uh, World War II sound powered headphones, a, head, a headset. And I'll go ahead and um, put that on a mannequin that I have that I use for Halloween and show you what the whole, whole package looks like. So I'll go ahead and get that all set up to show you what it looks like. All right, so I got this guy all set up with a mannequin that I have sitting around for uh, Halloween props, uh, basically to show you how it would look uh, put on with the sound powered headset uh, also on. So you have the helmet, um, a non-period correct Navy uh, set of coveralls here that I had uh, lying around for my Navy days. But you can see it's got the sound power phone set that straps around his neck, sits right on his chest. Uh, I've got the push to talk feature up here. And then the headphones go inside the helmet. And without this talker version of the helmet that's Enormously, enormously large on the ears, you would not be able to put that sound powered uh, headphone set on. 
So that's what it's look. That's what it looks like. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a series of videos in the future uh, on different Navy helmets throughout the ages, from World War One uh, up to the present. Um, so look for that. I'll do a little bit more on this Mark II Talker helmet. In the meantime, uh, you can go check out that other YouTube channel that I mentioned earlier. I'll put a link to it down below. It's got a great overview of the Mark II development and how it was used in the field. Got some cool pictures and videos, uh, period videos from the time. So take a look at that. So if you like this video, please uh, give it a like and hit that subscribe button. Definitely helps me out to uh, get my videos noticed uh, with the YouTube algorithm. So I appreciate that. Until next time, this is Navy 98 saying go Navy.